Perpetual light will shine on your saints, O Lord, and life without end forever. Alleluia. Today in our Diocese of Brentwood, we celebrate the feast of St. John Houghton. St. John Houghton was born of a well-to-do family in this county of Essex. He read law at Oxford and he became a monk of the London Charter House, the Carthusian Order. He became its prior and even in his lifetime he had a reputation for great holiness. Because he and some of his fellow monks would not swear the oath of succession, Henry VIII made an example of them and he was one of the first martyrs in 1535 of the English Reformation being hung, drawn and quartered at Tyburn. Holy Mass this morning I'm offering for the repose of the soul of Father Anthony Conlon, a dear friend of mine who was buried last Tuesday and by a, a lovely little coincidence he was parish priest of the Barbican area of the City of London where the London Charter House once stood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give light to your church by adorning blessed John Houghton with the victory of martyrdom, graciously grant that, as he imitated the Lord's passion, so we may, by following his footsteps, be worthy to attain eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the apostles. They, <coughs> they stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding round him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day, he and Barnabas went off to Derbe. Having preached the good news in that town, and made a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they said, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches they appointed elders, and with prayer and fasting they commended them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. Then after proclaiming the word of God at Perga, they went down to Ataliah, and from there sailed to Antioch, where they had originally been commended for the graces of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds 
and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. Alleluia, alleluia. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I bequeath to you. My own peace I give you. A peace the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer because the prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father and that I am doing exactly what the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dearly beloved, let us pray with Easter joy that the Lord will listen favourably to the prayers and petitions we place humbly before him. Let us pray for the church at this time that she may be strong in faith and be a beacon of hope to all the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves, the living members of the mystical body of Jesus, that each of us, playing our part and living our roles to the full, may give glory to the to the Blessed Trinity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our suffering brothers and sisters at this time, especially those experiencing the suffering of loss and bereavement of loved ones, that the Lord may comfort and console them in this time of their trial. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our particular intentions, especially those close to our hearts. I've been asked to pray especially for a, a relative of some friends of mine, Richard Hurley, who is dying of cancer in New York. Also for Father Paul Dynan, former parish priest of Stamfordly Hope and Tilbury, who is in his last hours. And commending to the mercy of God also a dear friend of mine, Father Anthony Condon, for whom this Mass is offered. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who know all our desires, those that we speak, and those that remain hidden in our hearts, grant us the grace to live so to give you glory and praise as we make our prayers through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr John Houghton, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfilment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise. Or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being. And paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate especially, the glorious ever-Virgin Mary. Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph as spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clatus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Amy, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to your God, his almighty Father, giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took 
this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world. For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation, be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother Mary received you, and with the spirit and fervour of the saints. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with your holy martyr John Houghton in his resurrection and his glory who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. It's a reminder that we pray the Holy Rosary each evening here at six o'clock, and please do continue to send any prayer intentions and requests that you have that we can include in the Rosary this evening. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our epitaph, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. 
We are safe guard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you, can we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. John Houghton, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us.